Okay. How you doing? Terrell here from Big Gold Belt Media. Justin, Justine, Aaron, how you doing today? Good. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, fine. Yeah. I got so many questions about photography, and this is the perfect pl place to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, big project, Queens, uh, four years in the making. I, I could imagine how many photos you had to sift through, uh, thousands, how many had to be edited, how many shots you, that were taken. Um, but you know, as, as far as this goes, like, what would you say was like the most difficult shot for the both of that you both had to do, like de dealing with the cinematography and the photography here? Most difficult shot. Specific, specific shots. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Um, I don't know really. Um, I don't, I don't think it felt like there was any one thing that was specifically difficult. I think mm -hmm. It was sort of more overall, just trying to pull together a very intimate story of animal behavior from a female's perspective. I think that was the thing. I think it was more that sort of challenge than than at any particular sort of smaller moment. Um, it's always difficult, you know, when you've got a lot of tech. Um, so the teams that were dealing with the... Um, the, G, the uh, shot over a GSS, uh, the gyro stabilized systems uh, were, you know, finding challenges with the stability. You know, we're on rocky terrain and and mm. on four four by four vehicles and and that stuff. You know, that needs. There's lots of things that can go wrong. So you know, constantly teching it. Those things are challenging. Um, the equipment can just sort of almost be a, a, in the way of what you're trying to get. You know, because oh, yeah. you see the behaviors happening. But um, yeah, yeah, I'd say it's just more because the the way the series is structured is very much following these personalities and these characters that you have to really just pull that out, and that is that is difficult, harder I, I, than it looks. <laughs> right, I, I can I can only imagine. I mean, somebody that does photography myself. Uh, one of my questions is. What is the resolution that we're dealing with here? I mean, so because some of these shots are far away, and yet you're still able to get incredible picture, incredible pictures. Like, what are we, what are we talking? Like, twenty k here? Like, what, what, what was the resolution that we're, we're working with here? I think the highest resolution that was shot in was eight k, wasn't it? With the yeah, about helium. seven. Yeah, around seven. Seven k. Yeah, but um, a lot of it is the lens that we use. Um, mm. for the long lens shots mm. that you're seeing, it's a, uh, it's a CN twenty, so it's fifty to a thousand. Mm. Um, so you're able to be in their world without engaging with them. You're able to immerse yourself without interrupting their natural behaviors. Right. And that's the great part of, of that setup. We yeah. weren't really cropping in on the sensor so much as, um, you know, as using, uh, big using telephoto, lens. Yeah, telephoto right. lens. Yeah. I mean, I could, that's some of these, some of these, the video and I'm thinking you right there. I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no <laughs> way. Very close. Um, I, again, I mean, just the file sizes of that. I, I know, like just it's just, get, just getting into the, I'm getting into the technical start of of, of the the camera stuff. Uh, what would you say out of the the was seven eight episodes here? Like, was like your favorite to to shoot? Oh, that's a hard one too. Mm. I'd say my favorite episode to watch would be um the final episode, Faith Musembi's episode. Mm, yep, I think <laughs> it's so different from anything I've ever seen. Um, I played a small role on it, but it's one that I'm so proud of because I think it is a complete game changer. Um, obviously the wildlife episodes, that's why we're here. We're here to film wildlife and right. those were all incredible. I can't pick a favorite. So I'm going to say Faith's episode, that final behind the scenes episode. It just right. highlighted so many incredible people that are now my heroes. So I'm, yeah, that would be my favorite. Yeah. I mean, I, again, it's hard to sort of say a favorite, but I would say, I would like to say really that when I watched the Bonobos, when it was finished, um, that I just thought, Wow, I'm so proud of what the team did because that is such a challenging place to film. You know, you are days, days walk away from any road, drivable road. Um, and then, you know, the, once you get there, the days are spent hiking 20, 30 K kilometers a day to, 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 to get to the bonobos and right. follow them around all day long. And then you have to walk all the way back to camp and yeah. and just so the just the logistics before you even start pulling the camera out that would be a big day for anyone 
you know, but without thinking that I'm actually now got to, you'd be like, <laughs> I'm do my job oh, I've done, I've, I've done that now. You know, no, no, your day is just beginning. <laughs> and now you have to film them. <laughs> you oh know, so. haven't hit record yet. <laughs> yes. so, so, so on the resume, exercise is required to, to be able to do. <laughs> An ability um, to walk a very long distance <laughs> without <laughs> complaining. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, last but not least, my, my final question, uh, kind of my wrap here. Um, like I said, big project, four years. What is something, you know, that you want the the people that are going to be watching this to take away from not only your work, but just overall? Like, what, what is what is what does you want to say, like, as far as the, the message, what you want to um, what you want the fans to know about the overall of the show? Oh, yeah, so many, so many, so many messages. Yeah, yeah. I think we want people to be inspired. I think we want people to be excited. Um, these are stories that haven't been told in this perspective this way. And we hope that, you know, the next generation sees themselves in these people on TV and we have more diversity coming up. We have people who are excited to come up because they've seen someone who looks like them on camera and they know they can do it. It builds that confidence. Representation is so important. Yeah, absolutely. And also um, what leadership looks like, you know, that there are other ways of you know, if you're looking at nature and then how that reflects on human society, that the strong man leadership thing isn't isn't the only way right. that that things can run. You know that there there are so many other ways. Uh, you know, and, and and in the series you're looking at female leadership, which you know is often uh, very much to do with cooperation, and um, you know that what that means to our societies and how things can change for us right. for the better. Well, look, I, I learned a lot, but I, I really, <laughs> I, mean, I was very educational, everything, but the bugs, but I really, <laughs> I really, I really appreciate you ladies. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me today. Good answers. Uh, I really you. appreciate it. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much. See you.